And welcome to The Rock Radar. My name is Smitty from the What the Hell Everything podcast. Another reaction in my quest through space to open rock and roll minds. Mine is the primary mission. My mind is the primary mission. But hey, uh, by happenstance, yours might get opened as well. And that quest brings me back to Midnight Oil, which I couldn't be more fucking stoked to do. Uh, because Midnight Oil, Midnight Oil, if you caught my last reaction, the only reaction I've done to them, uh, I'm like, I've only heard beds are burning my whole life, and I love it. Why the fuck haven't I gotten into Midnight Oil? Uh, what was the name of the song that I did? Uh, <laughs> previously, I wish I knew it right off the top of my head. <laughs> the Dead Heart. And the response, the reaction from you guys has been awesome as far as Midnight Oil goes. So a lot of cool requests, man, uh, that I just had up, and I wish I still had it up. Uh, there we go. This request uh, from Schmick. Sure, we'll go with that. Uh, or this comment. The Oils have at least 10 songs that are better than Beds Are Burning. You might want to check out their live concert video, video, Oils on the Water. I will tell you, that full live set reaction will happen on Patreon probably very, very soon. I made the decision. The video saved. I'm going to record that in the next couple days, so maybe... You're into that shit. Uh, it's only five bucks a month for live set reactions on Patreon. Link is in the description. But then, as far as like albums to hear just single songs off of, the album 10987654321 has been highly recommended, uh, including this track, U.S. Forces. And I really can't wait to listen to this. I really can't wait to hear the take because I know they're a super political band. Uh, especially like in 1992, I guess I saw it described in the comment section, that was their pure protest fucking fury. And I can only assume what kind of uh, content they're going to sing about as far as U.S. forces. As a U.S. Army vet, uh, uh, I am one of those people that I do not subscribe to uh, uh, not being criticized. I am well aware of the fucked up shit the United States has done throughout its history. Um... But I am a proud vet. But not to say that, like you know, uh, the United States and has, has the United States hasn't done a lot of fucked up shit. But we're gonna listen to U.S. forces for Midnight Oil after I get the message out. On April first, twenty twenty one, I ditched a career I absolutely hated to better myself and do the things I've always wanted to do, and that included my growing love and obsession with Ireland. I want to learn everything culture, history, mythology, music, and the language. Which, if I'm being honest, looks really hard to learn, but I'm going to give it the old Smith try. Then, of course, there is my love of pubs and the role that they've played throughout history, and no better example of that than on that beautiful, beleaguered island in the North Atlantic, Ireland. April 1st, 2026, I depart for the Emerald Isle, and for one year, I'll hike town by town and conduct interviews with pub owners, pub regulars, historians, town know-it-alls, musicians, and basically anybody that wants to talk to me. If you'd like to support the project and the journey, basic Patreon support is only three bucks a month, but just liking a video or subscribing to the channel and following the journey is just as helpful. I'm always looking for volunteers to work as liaisons for the project too, so if you live in Ireland and know people, feel free to hit me up. This is a huge goal and I need all the help I can get. The Smitty Learns Irish podcast begins April 26th and will be my life's work. Thank you. All righty then. Now that that's done, let's do this. U.S. Forces Midnight Oil. U.S. forces give a nod It's a setback for your country Bombs and trenches all in rows Bombs and threats still ask for more I can see why I've never heard this played on radio in the United States. <laughs> Fucking A.
I got to just say, I am really am looking forward now to the album reaction. I don't know which one I'm going to do. Probably the one with Midnight Oil on it, or excuse me, Beds Are Burning on it first. Uh, then maybe 10, 9, 7, 10, 8. How do you fucking count backwards from 10? That album? <laughs> Uh, but man, it is so fucking cool. I love bands that just want to fuck shit up in the best way possible, where you really only give a shit about what your music sounds like to you and the message that you're trying to get across. And you can totally hear that, uh, uh, from what people have said that this is them at their most purely fucking, uh, uh, political and ragey, you know, I love the fucking sound of this song. And I guess this fucking band's still around, right? Mid- Midnight Oil is still around. I think they put out an album in 2022, and I would love to hear some recent stuff, too. He was taking a selfie. They didn't have selfies in 1982. That's dirty. Mm. Honestly, that band has made me make noises. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> oh man that was fucking funny uh yes please more midnight oil and watch 100 percent watch for that uh uh what was the name of that live set oils on the water that's saved and ready to go uh watch for that reaction if that's something you're into it's only five bucks a month for live set reactions man and then once i hit the albums that's three bucks a month and that's basic support on the patreon page and if you like this video man please click like please consider subscribing even though i got a bunch of shit on this channel it's called what the hell everything for a reason thank you what the hell everything <laughs>